Well, the other thing that's going on, of course, are the Just Stop Oil protesters. And we got a little lesson, I think, from our friends in Germany about how to deal with these people. This is what they do over there. Kind of an instant SWAT team. Right, <laughs> off you go. Um, no mucking around. I mean, Esther, again, it just seemed to me we are very you know, namby-pamby with these yeah. protesters when they're genuinely causing mass dis disruption to people as they go about their lives. Well, it, it completely undermines our faith in the police and, and, and the people that are around to protect us because they always sort of break the boundaries between actually protesting and then putting the public at risk. And the Germans understand how to, to deal with these people. You can absolutely protest peacefully, but when you, act, when you get to the point where you're gluing yourself to the M25, for mm. instance, you're actually posing a risk to the public. And I think that's what we're really struggling to get right here in this country. Should we go a bit more German, Kevin? Yeah, I wouldn't be against it. I believe in the, the right to protest, but I also think if you protest, there's a right for the police to come and uh, move you out of the way because you, you've got to feel for the frustration of people who are driving out to work or going home, whatever they're doing. Ambulances. Where, yeah, I mean, when people just... I mean, here's the, the hard question, the though, Rosanna, because, mm -hmm. you know, if you go back and chart the history, say, the suffragettes, yeah. they did a lot of public disorder and disruption. But they made to... progress for that reason. No, no, they did. And that's my point, is mm. like, although I find them very objectionable the way they go about their business, they would argue with some merit, well, we're only doing what the suffragettes did when they wanted to get the vote. What's the difference? They had to use disruptive tactics and disrupt the public to get what they wanted. A massive mm. existential issue. You do have to do something about it. And Arnold uh, Schwarzenegger said it this week in an interview. You know, he said the world, there are people around the world that are not happy the way governments are dealing with the climate crisis. You're yeah. going to need here, a form here, of here, activism. Here's the difference. The suffragettes were, were fighting for the right to have right, um, rights that were being deprived of them. They're not yeah. being deprived of anything. That's the difference. These just they, up oil protests are wanting, are wanting to take away people's rights to basically use whatever fossil fuels they want or uh, for, for, for companies to produce fossil fuels and all mm. of that. The suffragettes were fighting for the right to get the vote. They're, they're, not being, they're not being deprived of anything. Yeah, they're trying to def deprive the public of they're, something. They're fighting for our existential That's sort of That's what they right believe. Exist. But no, monks, monks, true. no, but monks yeah. don't do this. Monks, OK, monks, monks can argue that, actually, we're going to go to Oxford Street and shout about how your soul needs to be saved if you don't become a Buddhist. Yeah. Right? Yeah. No, but they... But they my, yeah, but, but, why does that make that OK if they do it? Yeah, but why, why can't you campaign against fossil fuels my heart is with just stop uh, you can oil. do it so i just think my head my head says if you yeah. if you block roads or you jump on a snooker table you're well, not you, going well, to win you're, public you're support right. to the public yeah. what if i robbed your house you know what? and it's, gave yeah. everything to a homeless person does that make me right you're not planning to get very much <laughs>